Hey everybody, um, my video cut off unfortunately, so I usually like to pull the cards in front of you, but this time I couldn't, I already pulled them, um, and then I had to start a new video. So this is from my Dreamwalker Oracle deck, and this deck is available to purchase, uh, just send me an email. Now this deck is specifically for Astral Realm work, Dream work, um, you know, channeling any occult type of psychic work. Uh, this is what this, this is more of an advanced deck. So this is, if you're into that, this is what this deck would be used for. Um, it doesn't really make sense for like regular readings. This, this deck is more, if you're trying to figure out if someone's doing magic or if you're trying to figure out what magic you should do, um, or if there's just something that you're trying to look into that has to do with the astral realm, this is the kind of deck that you would use. So let's get into it. Okay, so I feel like, I'm gonna need to clarify. This deck is even hard. So I made this deck and it's even hard for me to use sometimes. I have to, okay, this popped up again. Dark Knight of the Soul, Substances. So this could be you or your person going through a Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, you know, we have like an altered state of mind there basically. So let's see what's going on. What was I gonna ask? Okay, this is someone trying to keep you okay there's some sort of truth that was just revealed with the recent um full moon or this could be coming up during the new moon or the full moon there could be some truth being revealed because i see so we have sacred place and we have shaman and i mean i, I always tell you guys that soul retrieval if you can find an experienced shaman who can do soul retrieval that's that's great for you guys there's a lot of scam artists out there so you got to know what to look for and you have to find the right person but you know i recommend soul retrieval to anybody anyone doing healing work this is really important to do um then we have sacred place uh, alter sanctuaries feelings of home nostalgia this could be a specific memory or emotion connected to a specific place oh i could also take this actually as i could see these together um because this is nostalgia you know heartbreak connected to a specific place like this could be a home you shared with somebody this could be like a certain spot you guys used to go to maybe your hometown or where you're living it reminds you of your ex or it reminds you of someone and it might be saying that you've actually got, um, like you've lost soul soul pieces in, in those places and you need to go back and reclaim those parts of yourself. Maybe it was a heartbreak that just really kind of messed you up and it's like you, you've lost pieces of yourself in um, these places. Maybe those places once held great memories of love but then um, that heartbreak, you know, happened and now this is, this is some place that causes you a lot of pain and maybe you know you've lost pieces of your soul there which isn't something to be afraid of basically the shamanic belief is that when you experience a trauma your parts of your soul leave to escape the trauma so basically parts of your soul um I know it sounds it sounds weird I know but basically parts of your soul just leave to escape the impact of that trauma and an experienced shaman um will take you through and call those pieces of your soul back into you to make you whole again. And you know, I've done soul retrieval sessions and I've thrown up afterwards. Like, so it's, it's it, as crazy as it sounds, it's no joke. It is legit. It, it's a real thing. Um, so, so there is for some of you, it's just some part of you that it's like, you don't feel at home anymore. It's like, you don't feel at home within yourself as as much as maybe you used to it's like there's some part of you that's kind of missing that you need to reclaim and I feel like this moon energy either the recent moon or an upcoming moon like I feel like it with it happening within the next month so either the next new moon or next full moon if it hasn't already if it's not already happening with this recent um full moon that we had um I feel like it's it's time to kind of reclaim these soul parts and I really take this to mean too that um Let's see here. I I take this to mean too that you're you're empowering yourself, you're reclaiming yourself, you're finding your safe space, you're finding your sacred space. You're you know I see returning to the old ways here, like just reclaiming that part of yourself. If that makes any sense. With deception in the moon here, I think that this again either this moon or the next full moon or the next new moon is it's soon I just don't know exactly when maybe it's different for each one of you maybe some of you are already on this path and this just started with the full moon that we just had maybe for others it's about to come up 
um, later this month. But, but I feel like there is a lot of truth being revealed with this, this moon energy here with, with, them, with, um, either a full or new moon. There's a lot of truth, maybe lies, gossip, malicious intentions. Uh, this could be someone who did dark magic on you in the past too. Maybe there was some problems that you had that you weren't even aware that it was connected and maybe you're going to see the truth about a person and you're going to have that um, motivation to cut this person out. Maybe you're going to see someone um, for being toxic. Maybe you kind of put someone on a pedestal and you're going to see that maybe they've been jealous or they've been lying about you behind your back or they've been doing something just negative towards you. You know, I think there's a lot of, there's just, I get a lot of truth revealing energy coming up with, with this, this moon. Um, I feel like this could also just be for some of you. It's also just saying that you're going to be healing from this. This might be tied to the sacred place in the shaman card where it's, it's basically saying, you know, that's part of, of losing those pieces of your soul is, you know, being lied to or being betrayed someone having negative intentions towards you, maybe someone that you actually held in high esteem that betrayed you or someone that was trying to use um, some kind of dark magic against you or just trying to sabotage you, someone that was jealous of you, basically. Uh, just some type of energy here with that, that, that maybe that truth is about to be revealed here to you. And it could be part of you, you know, feeling out of it or not feeling, not feeling at home, not feeling comfortable, um, you know, and needing to reclaim yourself, needing to to ground and shield yourself and maybe be more mindful of who you allow into your sacred space here, being more cautious about who you let into your life, um, you know, making sure you don't have any frenemies around you, that kind of energy. Because we got banished here too, you know, let it, letting go of something, pushing something away. So I kind of feel like there is something that you need to, this could be an ex, this could be a friend. For some of you, I feel like this is a friend. I feel like it's like a best friend or someone or like a close, I don't know, someone that you are close to that like maybe it's still hurting you or maybe it's like there is just some type of, some type of hidden jealousy or some type of hidden betrayal or negativity and you're starting to become more conscious of it or you have become more conscious of it but it's been kind of hard for you to be honest with yourself about it and let it go but there's an energy of needing to do cut and clear work so there's there's a strong energy in this whole spread of um of pushing away and letting go more than bringing things in. So it's, it's not, I think maybe if you're asking for love, you're like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And you know, your guides are showing you here, like, okay, this is everything blocking you from the abundance that you're asking the universe for. Sometimes when we ask the universe for, you know, love or money or success or whatever it might be, we have all these chaotic things happen all at once. And then we just feel like the universe is just kind of screwing us over and it's like, we, you don't want to ask for anything ever again. Like you just get really confused. And the, you know, the reason why that's happening is because, you know, your guides have to clear out this old energy to make room for blessings. Like, say you have a best friend that's toxic. Well, if you're asking for a healthy best friend, they're going to have to cut that person out. They're going to have to push that person that's being negative and draining your energy away to make room for someone who's actually going to be positive. You know, same with like relationships. If you're asking for true love and you're still entertaining the toxic exes that are draining your energy and being psychic vampires, you know, the universe is going to be pushing away those people so that they can bring you true love so that there's space and energy in your life for true love so that you're a vibrational match to what you're asking for. Um, so you don't have these psychic vampires around you kind of just draining you and, and tearing you down. You know, they want to clear that energy out. So there's just such a strong energy here of needing to do healing work and cutting things out and just clearing the space for this, all these new things that you're asking for to, to go ahead and come into your life. Um, and this could be something that you maybe thought you cleared out, but it's like, it's still hurting you or maybe something you've been in denial about. There's just something that needs, it could be an ex, could be a friend, could be an energy, you know, and the same could apply to jobs too. It's like, you're asking for money, but you're still in the same old nine to five stagnant job. And if it's like, you can't just up and quit your job. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm saying sometimes if you ask for, um, 
I'm saying sometimes your guides will come in and push you out of your comfort zone so that you have no choice but to make these life changes that you want to make. You know what I mean? Like you you have no choice but to go apply for new jobs now that you've lost the toxic nine to five job. You have no choice but to, you know what I mean? Like they're just giving you a push. Um, and so there's this energy of the ship that is sailed, that it, it could be a friendship or a lover. I feel like for some of you, it is a friendship. It is somebody that you are close to that just kind of betrayed you. Um, there's there's some type of energy there with that. So saying, you know, to banish this, push this away. Truth is being revealed to you. There's also, let me see if this is a second energy, because I get two different energies and one of them is actually good. Is this a second energy? Okay, I also get the energy of somebody who's spying on you, but in a good way. Not in a, I mean, I don't know if you think it's a good way or not, but you have spirit animals here too. Look at this spirit animal. Pay attention to the animals you encounter both in your dreams and on waking life. And look up if, if an animal pops up, if there's like an animal around you right now, look up the meaning of that spirit animal because that might be a message for you. You have... Hmm, we got masculine energy here. We have, see, we have hidden desires, mutual dream, and scrying. So this is telepathic dream communication. This is, could be lucid dreaming. Could be someone coming through in your dreams, you coming through in someone else's dreaming, in someone else's dreams. We also have remote viewing, someone, you know, spying and being spied on, like scrying, looking into you, asking their ruins or their pendulum or their cards about you, um, trying to tap into your energy, see what's going on, hidden desires, secrets, Hidden feelings, fear of rejection, shy secret admirer. So all these cards go together. All these cards go together. What else can we say about this? Spiritual aid, stones and crystals, sigil magic. So yeah, spiritual aid, I would take that to be them like using some type of source to try to connect to you. This could be another psychic. Maybe if you're, if you are, are you dating another psychic or you have an ex that's psychic or that's kind of open to this stuff? Um, I mean, I guess it could be like subconscious, like it could just be somebody stalking your social media and trying to figure out what's going on with you. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is someone that's actually like meditating on you or trying to tap into your energy. They might be afraid of being rejected. So it's like, they're just, it's like someone that's aware of the psychic connection. Maybe they weren't open to it before, but maybe you kind of show them that this stuff is real or maybe they're starting to be open to it. So it's like now they're having dreams about you and they're trying to explore that further. Like, what is, what does this mean? You know, where is this going? Time to rest. Desire to retreat. Yeah, someone could be dreaming about you too just because they're so exhausted and so burnt out with life that it's like you're their safe space. Wish granted. Answered prayers. Success. Abundance. This is a potent time to manifest what you want. Healing, shadow work, pain. Yeah, this is what you're doing. You're dealing, you're doing healing and, and shadow work and purging. Um, the path to wholeness requires introspection, honesty, and vulnerability. I just see this as I see it as two separate stories. So there's one story here where it's it's basically saying, you know, there's someone in your life that you know you need to let go of, could be a friend, could be a lover. There's some type of energy that you know that you lost a big part of yourself to this energy. You know that you need to do soul retrieval and reclaim that part of yourself. You need to stop giving that. You've given a lot of your soul and a lot of your energy to this person or situation already, and you're becoming conscious that you need to pull that back into you um, and heal from this and, you know, just do the soul retrieval and, and protect your energy more and be more mindful of who you allow into your space because this truth is coming out. There's no way you can't be in denial. If you've been in de denial, it's it's going to it's gonna all come crashing down, to be honest. You're going to have this truth coming in with the moon here. And with spirit animals, you also have some kind of animal around you that's trying to guide you. It's really interesting because when, when shamans do soul retrieval, they also have their animal spirit guides that they take with them to do the soul retrieval. So this could be an... Uh, could be connected to that too. This spirit animal is trying to give you a message that you need to listen to. But there's just basically an energy of, of you know, you got to cut and clear and push away this, whatever it is that's been holding you back. You need to release that. You need to reclaim. It's not just pushing away. It's also reclaiming yourself because you're calling these soul parts back into you. Um, you're reclaiming your energy. You're reclaiming your power from the people you've given your power away to. 
so that you can manifest the, the love and the happiness and abundance that you've been asking the universe for. The universe is trying to, as chaotic and messy as it might feel, the universe is just trying to put you into alignment with the things that you've been asking for. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of healing this month for you guys. And then a second energy here too, where we got someone who's could be an ex, could be someone who doesn't know you that well, just some type of energy of someone kind of watching you, kind of wanting to, to get to know you better, um, just because we got hidden desires and we have mutual dreams. So again, someone that either is dreaming of you, you're dreaming of them, or you're both dreaming of each other, or there's just some, there's some type of energy here. And we got masculine energy too, so a very, someone who's very masculine as well. Um, and it's like you're their safe space, so they're kind of just, they're dreaming about you. They're trying to manifest you. Let me get a couple more cards to clarify. Yeah, cut and clear. Cut and clear work. It's cut and clear this energy. This is part of that. Spirits of the living. Okay, we got telepathic communication, deep psychic bond. So yeah, so this is someone. This is someone that you either so this your person is either consciously psychic, like they they know that they're psychic and they're into this stuff too. And so they're pulling, they're actually consciously pulling cards or, or ruins or pendulum or whatever, consciously meditating on you. Or this could also just be somebody that you have a deep psychic connection with, but maybe they're not all familiar with this stuff, but they're starting to explore it now because they're recognizing that they have this with you. Like they're dreaming about you all the time and maybe the, the dreams, the messages in the dreams are really specific, so they can't just ignore it. And maybe they're starting to meditate and starting to like kind of research soulmates or twin flames or they're researching some of the terms you told them or they're 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 looking into stuff that they know you're into like they're they're curious about it themselves and they're trying to explore this and they're trying to see if all this is actually real and they're trying to see if they can tap into your energy and draw you in like they're just kind of experimenting with the with the universe, with universal energy, with psychic energy, you know, tel telepathy, that kind of thing. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe and, you know, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Um, and like I said, these, these cards are available for sale. Just send me an email. I also do paid private readings. Um, my contact info is below. And I also appreciate any don donations that you guys can give, even just a dollar. It adds up so quickly. It's really, it, just a dollar goes a long way it really does because I'm getting a lot of people on here now so that really adds up quickly and it helps me maintain my focus on this channel so thank you for watching